144 years ago, an expedition to American West revealed to the world a place of fire and brimstone. She is Yellowstone. The Alpine Lake is her heart. Extending from its heart are numerous vessels of rivers and streams that nourish the nature of more than 17 million acres of North American land. Since the establishment of Yellowstone National Park in 1872, the magnificence of nature and abundance of wildlife in this secret reserve have presented every visitor an indelible grandeur of the birth of Gaia. The Grand Canyon region to the east of Yellowstone Plateau is immersed in tranquility of early morning. This chipmunk is chewing on a discarded apple core. Asterachia plants flourish among bushes. Two pine squirrels are engaged in a chase among pines. This chase could be a territorial behavior, or it may be an overture to mating. Following the chase into the woods, one can catch a glimpse of the Grand Canyon not far away. The canyon came to being after several geological events. After Yellowstone Caldera was formed, a succession of rail light eruptions cut off an outlet of Yellowstone Lake to the west. During subsequent elevation, the lake developed a new outlet at Fishing Bridge in the north, the section of the present Yellowstone River that leaves the lake. The new outlet started erosion of previously Lake Canyon rail light terrain in the north. By then, the ancestral canyon upstream the Lower Yellowstone Falls was formed. Later, during Bow Lake and Pine Dale glaciation, not only did glaciers carve walls of the canyon, but during deglaciation, the flood engendered also deepened the terrain. Extending downstream along Yellowstone River, the canyon gradually widens. Before Yellowstone River enters this part of the canyon, its substrate transitions from hard basalt to brittle breccia. As a result, the downstream channel sunk more into the substrate than did the upstream counterpart, and the precipice took its shape. The river then plunges into the 100 meter deep canyon at this location known as the Lower Falls. Thomas Moran, a Hudson River artist, who participated in the 1871 Hayden's expedition to Yellowstone, chose to paint the Grand Canyon from this exact perspective, thereby introducing this pristine land and the territories to Eastern audience. In the canyon, mafic minerals, long been altered by hydrothermal activities, form an iron containing geosite Hematite and hematite. Their various colors contrast with the yellow clay substrate, constituting such a scenery that Moran remarked to be beyond the reach of human art. In mountains around the canyon, chimnosperms, such as pine and fir, dominate the vegetation among which lodgepole pine and subalpine fir are the most common. They provide both shelter and sustenance to a local animal community. This osprey builds its nest on a rock pinnacle. 
This safe location protects the fineless chicks from potential predators. When the chicks grow up, they will become the best trout hunters in the canyon area.